Hello and welcome back to Let's Go Hunting. Today we're here on Hemeldahl because our random selection was to hunt reindeer here on Hemeldahl with the longbow. I'm pretty excited about this video because I haven't hunted with the longbow much recently and I haven't hunted reindeer much recently, so it should be interesting. I also brought the winter snake bite, pretty much just for moose or bear. And I'm curious what you guys would like to see me do because I was thinking that in the old Let's Go Hunting videos that we used to do, we pretty much went after everything. But if you'd like me to continue doing that, but focus on still whatever animal or animals is suggested, uh, let me know what you think. Because what I was thinking was still focus on the animal that's suggested, as I just said. But then if I see a male of another animal or find a fresh track, maybe go after it. But of course, I want you guys' feedback because you're the ones watching these videos. So of course, uh, what you guys would like to see matters. So let me know what you think. And also, I guess I should have at least explained what I just drew. We spawned there at the circle tent, and we're going to head down here uh, to this ravine. And then from there, we'll see how many reindeer we've killed, if any, uh, hopefully several. And then we'll likely head over through here, uh, if nothing else. But of course, we'll have to let the reindeer lead us, most likely. So yeah, I think for this video, I'm going to try it out and do what I said. Kind of go after the other animals that I see or hear. Specifically males. Females, I'll probably ignore because it's... I don't know, less exciting, but we'll try it out. Let me know what you guys think, and let's get going. Well, I said we really wouldn't be going after females, but we got a female moose in front of us, and it's not because it's in front of us that we're going to take it. I'll explain in just a moment. I just spooked a reindeer, and it actually looked kind of big. Well, that's unfortunate. And also, <laughs> the moose didn't drop, so that's also unfortunate. The reason that all that happened uh, was because I had a max weight full moose track, 11 to 18 minutes heading this way. Uh, but now I may have been spooked by this moose, which fortunately died right here, so hopefully not. I think we're going to at least look for the moose, but that reindeer was what we're after, so... Maybe we'll ignore the moose because there was a reindeer there, uh, but we at least got this female to start off the video. Shot a little high for the heart. We probably got like lung liver or something like that. Lung liver stomach, so fortunately she didn't run very far. We'll head over and look at that track from the reindeer. I think it was a male. I thought I actually saw pretty good sized antlers running away, but it was just for a split second, so it's worth checking out. If it is a female, we'll just, of course, go for the uh, moose, but I thought I saw like the white of the neck as well. I have no idea where he was though. I never saw him. And I didn't hear him either. And it's a moose track. He must have just been up in here. And I was staying low because of that cow moose. So I didn't spook him from that. Here's the track. And I think that's max weight or almost max weight for reindeer. I'm actually not sure. 180 or 185 kilograms is max weight. So we'll definitely be tracking that. So off we go. Alright, so we've got a reindeer to our left, which is a male. I don't know if it's the one we were tracking or not. I just got a call from another male, and I hear something to the right, so... I don't really know. He doesn't seem to be necessarily coming to the call I just made. Well, maybe he is, so... Okay, that's probably the one we saw spook, so... We can make a really good shot here. Or just not a great shot and him not spook hopefully I don't even think I thought he was staring at us but he's not and now he's just gonna run away that's not what I expected to happen at all the other reindeer that called was back this way so hopefully he still comes in we did get lung blood so that's good hopefully we can find him without much trouble there he is oh my goodness Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I don't know if you guys saw what I just saw, and I will just wait just one moment to show you with the spotting scope. <laughs> but this is not going to be a longbow kill, I can tell you that. How about that? A 350 to 620, I believe that's a leucistic uh, reindeer. Of course it's a reindeer, but I think it's leucistic. And you guys know my uh, how much I like to have the tracer for rares and stuff. 
So we're going to slide over here so we can get a broadside shot. That is incredibly lucky that he didn't spook from the other one we just shot. And wow, my heart is pounding. I've killed one of these before, but it was a lot smaller. And it's really cool to see like the bigger antlers on this guy. That almost looks like it could be a piebald. They have like small spots, which I kind of think I might be seeing. And wow, look how close he is. <laughs> and he's actually going to go down there where we were calling from. Looks like he might come up on the other side of the rock for us. Alright. What the heck? <laughs> I don't think I needed the tracer for that. Unbelievable. That is too cool. And what was that, like a 5 meter shot? Probably less? And that's one thing, when animals are walking, they don't tend to spook, which is why I wasn't rushing the shot there. And you notice probably right when he stopped, I took my shot. So that's a good thing to do when you're trying to get a shot uh, at something big or rare, especially when they're bigger and they're a little more spooky. While they're walking, you can get up and draw, and often they won't spook. Almost never will they spook from that, actually. But anyway, let's see what this guy's going to score. 4.3 meter shot and a... 434 that's a pretty good sized reindeer i'm i'd take a trophy shot of that probably for the sake of the video if it was not a rare and of course this is a rare so we'll be taking a trophy shot of it wish we had more sun but it's an earlier spawn i spawned at seven i'm gonna scooch up just a bit to get the whole antler in the picture but wow <laughs> that's one of the coolest rare experiences i've ever had with it getting that close and a really nice picture and a pretty good score on him too i'm more than psyched about that so I don't think it matters what else happens in this video. This video is a success in my book. We've got a cow moose there, but we've already got this other reindeer to track. So we'll track him. I don't know if we'll be able to top that even with a monster reindeer at some point, which would also be cool, but we'll certainly try and we'll get on the tracks of this guy and try to find him. All right, so our reindeer died right in here in the rocks. My heart's finally slowing down after seeing that rare and I still don't know if it was an albino or a piebald well it wasn't albino it didn't have pink eyes or anything I don't know if it was a piebald or a leucistic but this guy is probably about the same score maybe a bit larger 403 he's actually smaller shoulder blade and right lung to be completely honest if it weren't for that single lung shot I don't know if the uh, I'm gonna just call it leucistic because I didn't see enough brown to think it was piebald but I'm not sure uh, I didn't, had I made that shot, this one drops that we just claimed, and then the other one that we had on top of the hill, if we could have made the shot on it, the one behind us, that leucistic I think it was, would likely have ended up hearing that shot and spooked because it would have taken a little longer and I'd have waited till it got close, so, jeez, that scared me. <laughs> so we got another reindeer male right in front of us, so we'll try to call him in. All right, so our other male's right here. And this is actually the one uh, that we started tracking to begin with uh, after shooting the cow moose. And oddly enough, I thought he was way bigger looking than that. Uh-oh. I've made a mistake. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Maybe we can get lucky. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> that may have been closer than before. 3.1 meter heart shot. Reindeer don't tend to be as like aware as some of the other animals, but as close as we've been to those last two, that's just crazy. And of course, actually, let's just see. Yes, this does count as the forest uh, area for him at all, so at least the camouflage is working, so that'd be part of it, but four meter shot and three meter shot. That's just <laughs> insane. Let's keep moving. All right, we've got some willow ptarmigan in front of us. There's a female there, but I want to see if maybe we can spot a male first. There's a bear right there. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. It's a small male. I don't know if we can get the bear in the ptarmigan, but we're going to try to just cut the bear off since he's going our way. And then we'll worry about the ptarmigan, so 
We'll have to make a bit of a stock on this guy, I guess. Let's see how far we are right now. 66 meters, so under 40 would be ideal. 50 is definitely doable. Is that a male that we got flying there? Uh, nope, that's a female. They seem to fly around a lot, and that one's just going to come right at us there. I thought it was going to land on us for a while. They fly around a lot more now, I think, since the uh, relatively recent update. They kind of have like a roost, basically, where they stay, and they'll leave that roost and come back, which is kind of cool. Now the bear is certainly in range, but he's kind of walking around in circles. There's a male. Follow where he goes. Coming back. Alright. <laughs> How did our bear... Wait, is that the same bear? Nope. This is the one we're after. That's kind of crazy, the amount of animals all right here. Bunch of ptarmigan, a couple of brown bear. I'm actually not far from my barrel, which probably explains why it works so well, because it's been empty for a long time, and we're going to use the winter snake bite for this so we don't have to track the bear for forever. Just spotted us. Alright, he's down. We're going to go up and claim our bear. The other bear didn't even speak from that. It's going up that way. And then if one of these ptarmigan gives us a better shot... We'll do that, but rather than waiting here for forever, we'll wait till we get a shot, uh, and then we can just cut to that instead of spending any extra time doing this. So here's our bear. We actually had a spine shot. He was a little closer than I thought. 22 score. We're going to probably just ignore that female. And I can hear ptarmigan everywhere, but I don't see any of them. So we'll just move towards it until we see some. There's one flying way over there. A couple of them. One is a male, which just landed. and Maybe we can get that one. Yeah, they're airborne a lot now. I think that one we were after just flew again too, but... Let's see. Nah, he's up there still. There's actually two males. One's right there, a little more in range. If we can shoot before he gets behind the trees. We got that one. There's a male up there that didn't uh, fly away. Also a female, I don't know if you guys can see that. I can't believe they're not flying as much as they fly without being spooked. Okay, one just finally spooked. And avoided our shots, but I think we got three, so that's pretty good. Nice to get a couple of ptarmigan uh, for the video. So what, we've killed moose, ptarmigan, reindeer, and bear to this point. The other species on this map would be red fox and roe deer. I think that's it. So it would be kind of cool to get all the species uh, on the map in this video, but that's not our goal, of course. We're after uh, reindeer, so unless those animals show up, we won't be specifically looking for them. This is actually the track of that... Okay, I thought you were dead. <laughs> There's a male actually there. Oh, that's a female, actually. Luckiest female ever. I don't know how I missed all those shots. You guys are... Ooh, I think that's a big one. I'm not sure about that, but... Eh. <laughs> it's a ptarmigan anyway, so I'm not going to take a picture. Uh, apparently it wasn't a big one. Maybe that's uh, the white tails that I'm thinking of that are way smaller than that. Yeah. So, that was not a big one, obviously. Anyway, we're going to keep moving. We'll go back uh, to our focus of reindeer now. Hopefully, we can uh, find some more 
a really big one would be nice, but of course we already got lucky enough to kill that rare earlier, so any reindeer at this point is just a bonus. Alright, we've got a decent bull reindeer coming in. We're going to score estimate here in just a moment. 330 to 610, but I don't think his antlers are tall or wide enough to be like over 500 even. I'm pretty sure he's in the mid 400s maybe because he's got decent tops and I think he's got two shovels. Yeah, relatively small ones, but his tops aren't fantastic, so I don't think he'll top 500, but he's certainly not bad. And he is also certainly in range. He's got some females with him, but they'll likely uh, flee from this. Apparently that's going to be the theme today, just letting them get really close. And as I said, while they're walking, they don't tend to spook. And that's relatively realistic if you think about it, because they're moving, so their surroundings to their eyes are somewhat moving, if you know what I mean, as they're moving past it. Like when you're in a car and you look out the window, everything seems to be moving, that kind of thing. And also they're making noise while they're walking, so I, like, I guess I get where that comes from. And it's kind of cool to see that, but... 5.7 meter heart shot, 435 scoring reindeer. I think that might be our biggest one now because the uh, leucistic was 434, if I'm not mistaken. I was tracking another uh, reindeer back here, so we're going to go ahead and get back on those tracks. Hopefully he's pretty good size as well. All right, so we got the reindeer we were tracking here in front of us. He's having a bit of trouble climbing the hill. Really would like him to find a spot where he doesn't kind of bounce while he's trying to stand before we take a shot, because that can really throw an arrow in an area you're not really aiming for. Could end up hitting way high or shoot over it when they're doing that. I think if he can get up that, he'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. Down he goes. Uh-oh. <laughs> we might have a problem here. <laughs> Well, I guess we're going to have to run to the bottom of the hill for this guy. There is one stuck over there. Now she got off. Well, this is interesting. I kind of saw that coming. So. <laughs> at least, oh, uh, I was just about to say, at least we haven't hurt ourselves yet. Alright, that was quite the ride. Not a bad-sized reindeer. Let's see what he scores. 460. Pretty decent. Got a brain shot on him, actually. Alright. I think we're in that valley. Actually, we passed the valley. So we're going to go back, maybe loop around uh, through the tower area, and then join back up with the original path. Or something like that. And I think we've killed five or six reindeer uh, at this point, but all pretty decent males, which is cool. So a couple more uh, and then we'll probably leave this video. And of course, the rare was still uh, more than enough for one video. That was anything else, you know, added to that. It's just a bonus, of course. But we'll keep hunting and see what else we find. All right, we've got a decent bull moose coming in. 115 to 155 score estimate. Obviously not uh, the biggest moose in the world, but not bad. And I guess he's going to go that way. He'll stop or at least get out of the brush. Apparently we're going to set the record for like the shortest distance of combined kills in a hunt. So many shots under like 7 meters has been ridiculous. Alright, so we've got a pretty decent looking roe buck coming in. 135 to 190 score estimate, so not bad. We'll try to take him out with a longbow. Actually, it sounds like there might be... Oh, yeah, there's one way closer. <laughs> also smaller, so we'll get the bigger one, hopefully. I don't know how I missed that entirely. Looked like a solid hit. Probably double lung or single lung shoulder blade. Must have been double lung because he went down so fast. That's the thing with the road deer. They'll run a bit sometimes with double lung, even. So let's go pick him up. Double long shot, 151 score, so not bad. All right, so I think this looks pretty good. I do want to say that when I chose the random subscriber for the subscriber hunt uh, last week, I was informed that he doesn't play the hunter anymore, but he actually messaged me in-game 
uh, to let me know, and he uh, nominated his friend, Javin5221, uh, to take his place. And he actually was entered in the subscriber hunt uh, random drawing already. So we'll be doing that instead just to let you guys know what's going on there. And yeah, so with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. See you in the next one.